Hey everybody and welcome back to Your Next Cash. Thank you so much for checking out another episode. I really appreciate it. If this is your first time to the channel, I hope that you'll drop a comment below and let me know you stopped by. And if you are returning to the channel, I appreciate you doing that as well. If you are not already subscribed, I hope that you'll hit the red subscribe button right down below. And of course, if you enjoy this content, hit that thumbs up. That's always encouraging. Today, I'm going to be showing you a Carl's Bait and Tackle box uh, that I received a little bit ago in the mail from shopcarls.com. Uh, recently, the Catch Co company got in contact with me and they were generous enough to send me uh, a couple of boxes. And this is one of the first ones uh, that they sent me. So I've never received one of these boxes before, never purchased one of these boxes before, um, but I'm curious to see uh, what is inside. The mystery is always intriguing. So I haven't been a big mystery tackle box person, but I definitely think I'm gonna get into it um, going into 2022. So. Let's go ahead and slice this bad boy open and see what we have inside. <laughs> it's got a great quote on the side. It says, a garage without fishing rods is like a body without a soul. <laughs> Check that out. Uh, and then on this side, it says, the journey of a thousand fish begins with one cast. That's very true. A lot of truth. In so, uh, check this out. Turn around and show it to you unfolds just like that. So in case you were thinking about getting one of these boxes, uh, you might want to get one on the inside. Uh, it just has um, some catch and win, catch, measure, share uh, your pictures uh, on Instagram, of course, which hopefully we'll get an opportunity to do. Um, and then it's got a measuring ruler inside. Got a few other things, but I'll, I'll skip that for now. Um, it's got a description of the lures um, right here. So Carl's Bait and Tackle has sent me um, a 10,000 fish uh, cycle bait underspin. That's 3 8 ounce bluegill. It's got a 10,000 fish yodo worm. That's 4 and 3 quarters. It's electric shad. A biospawn vile bug. A biospawn exoswim. Uh, that's green pumpkin. A 10,000 fish head hunter. And then a 10,000 fish attack frog 2.5 speckled bullfrog. So we'll go through those uh, real quick and kind of show you. Uh, what those are. So I'm, I'm really excited about what we have. It looks like we're going to have some good lures in here. For whatever reason, when I see this first design, I think playing cards. Like, I don't know why, but in my mind, that's the first thing I thought about was playing cards. Uh, but here we go. This is the Colorado Cycle Blade uh, from 10,000 Fish. Have nothing like this at all. Um, so this is the first time I'll be throwing uh, one of these. I'm going to go ahead and open it up for you so you can see it. Believe it or not, this actually looks more like art <laughs> than a lure. It's a really cool design. Um, I've never seen an underspin like this. Certainly never thrown an underspin like this. But check those rings out that are on there. Nice, strong hooks. Got a good keeper there. I'm hoping you can see that okay. Uh, but that's really cool. I am really interested to throw that and see uh, what happens. So already excited because I don't have anything like that at all. So... This is some of the stuff you can look forward to uh, this year or this coming year in 2022 that you're going to see me uh, actually throw. So that's one. So the next thing I'm going to grab out of here is going to be the Headhunter. This is the fully rigged swim bait. Has a free swinging internal hook. Hmm, that's interesting. Don't have anything like that at all. I'm interested just to see what that looks like. I really do like the way these are packaged though. And I don't have any lures like this at all. Like I said, I don't, I have, wow, that texture feels great. I love the texture of this. So it's weedless. Check that out, got a hook. Well, you probably can't see that, but there we go. There's a hook right inside of there. Hopefully you can see that. Um, but I'm just curious to throw this guy. It's got some good weight to him. I'm sure you'd be able to throw him in almost anything. Shouldn't get hung up at all. So it's another good lure. So I'm really curious to see how this stacks up against lures that I normally use and have been successful with. All right, the next thing we got are some irresistible tickle tails, Yoda worm, six pack. And these are some nice, I like the tail on them. So again, I don't have anything that looks like this right there. And on the back, it gives you several different ways you can rig it. You can use a shaky head, a drop shot, a Texas rig, um, or you can even use it with a bladed jig. So it's got a lot of purposes 
to it. Hopefully you can see that pretty well. And it's almost five inches long. So that's a pretty good size lure. Uh, but I could also see throwing this on a chatterbait, quite honestly. So really excited about using that. Um, and then we have a Tahiti frog. I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that right with the external walking weight. <laughs> These are all lures I probably never would have purchased on my own. So I'm, I'm super excited about them. But check that frog out. That's different. I like to squeeze them and see how, how air moves through them. But that thing is different for sure. Check out the eyes on it. It's got a good reptile look to it, but that's a really cool frog. It's on here. Don't know how I was supposed to put this back. Oh, that's all. Sorry, I'm messing that up. I don't think that's right. No, I don't think what I'm doing is right. You know what? I'm just gonna put it back in the box for right now. It's going into my frog box anyway, so. It's gonna be all good. Uh, and then we have some vile bug, which these are cool. These are, um, has bio, it's enhanced with bio scent, but this is just a good creature bait, a good creature crawl uh, in a nice color. It's like a blue, depending on the lighting you're in, it's like a blue and a um, green pumpkin color. I think the color on here is Okeechobee crawl. That's what it is, yep, Okeechobee crawl is what it is. So it's pretty cool. I like the design of it. And then we have the Exo Swim 4 inch. And this is also another uh, paddle tail swim like bait. I believe this is Green Pumpkin. Yep, Green Pumpkin Pearl, which I love that color. Um, that's amazing that they sent me the, I feel, I feel like they watched my channel because they sent me the types of colors that I like. Um, but that's pretty cool. It's got a nice slit in the top. So you're definitely going to see me do videos on this in the future, uh, just about rigging these up and how they actually work. So, and then last but not least, we have the Mary Fishmas catalog, uh, in here as well. Just has some different things. And, but that's it, right? Uh, there's a quote inside. I love quotes. It says, don't be afraid to let the little fish go. You can catch the big fish later. That's a good quote. That's a good quote. Anyway, um, that's going to be it. So quick run through one more time. We got uh, these biospawn lures right here. These two. Uh, we've got the frog, which is nice. We've got the tickle tail that's irresistible, which is nice. Um, we've got a nice... Uh, fully pre-rigged swim bait that is weedless. And then we got a cycle bait underspin that looks pretty awesome. I can't wait to see uh, what happens with that bluegill color, three art hook inside of it. So that's everything for today. So again, thank you to the Cashco company for their generosity in giving uh, this to us. I really appreciate it. Hopefully we'll have more unboxings uh, in the future as we get more boxes and um, continue to enjoy these and then hopefully make some videos where we are putting some fish in the boat. So uh, if you are curious about getting a, a mystery tackle box or a Carl's bait box or a pro box or whatever the case might be, I think it's worth a worthwhile investment just because you never know what you might get and you might get some lures that you weren't used to uh, before because we tend to be creatures of habit. I know I am. So, you know, there's certain things you're going to always see a single tail grub, a chatter bait, um, a young dinger. But now, you know, that, that tackle box is expanding. I mean, I already have a lot of lures anyway, but still I'll probably stay within a range of, you know, about 10 to 12 lures. Although this year we've really done a good job of expanding. I made a lot more videos just by getting a lure, going out and fishing with it and having some success with it. And that's what helps build your repertoire and makes you a better angler as a whole. So I hope that on your next cast, you will do the same thing. Well, everybody, that is all that we have for today. We hope that you have a good day and we hope that you have a good night and we hope that you have a good end of 2021. We look forward to seeing you again very soon. Good night.